Hi guys, Joe here and welcome to 750 Gaming. In this one, I'm going to talk to you about what makes a 750 Army. So yeah, I've done a few of these videos now on some of my 750 Armies and in each one I've briefly hinted at the point of all this, but never actually done a 750 Gaming 101. So I'll try and do that now as quickly and succinctly as I can, maybe even in under 7 minutes 50 seconds. Who knows? So let's be honest, for the vast majority of us, life is busy and plastic ain't cheap. Unless this is actually your job, i.e. the thing that makes you the money you need to exist in this world, then, well, it is just a hobby. And if you have a another job or a family or bills to pay and life to do, then the chances are this tabletop wargaming thing has a lot of time and money constraints to contend with. As for me, I really enjoy the 40k universe and lore sphere, but it's tricky to find the time and money to engage with all of this as much as I'd like to. Of course, that's totally okay, I am after all only a part-time hobbyist. I am still a full-time human. But as I was considering what I could do to maximise the engagements I was able to make in this thing, I came to this concept. It's nothing particularly new or revolutionary, it's just the approach I take. You see, 9th edition 40k is a complex beast, no doubt about it, but just because something is designed in such a way doesn't necessarily mean it has to be used in that way. For instance, 9th edition tends to be geared towards the 2000 point scale tournament or competitive play meta. Great, fine, if you have the time and money to shoot for that goal that is. But, as I said, the majority of us either can't or perhaps don't actually want to. So, instead of trying to shoot for the moon and feeling ever resentful because of it, I just scale it down. In essence then, 750 Gaming, and by default, a 750 Army, is all about trying to downsize and simplify. So, I make 750 point armies and play incursion scale games on battlefields roughly the same size as your average 4 foot by 3 foot kitchen table. Naturally, 2,000 point games with a bazillion minis on the table can take upwards of 2-3 to three hours to get through. But we don't have to do that. We can scale it back, simplify some rules. At incursion size, we only have a maximum 6 CP to start with anyway, so instead of gathering every book and errata and fact we can lend our hands on, why not just pick your favourite free stratagems for your army and throw the rest away? Don't worry about having to remember what they all do and what the others mean and where they all are in your books. And that way we can start to do this thing in about an hour. And if you find you do actually have two to three hours available for gaming, well, then that's great. Go play another game. When I build my 750 point armies, I try and do so using as few miniatures as makes sense. In 9th edition, in its current state, I still tend to use the patrol detachment as a framework to help me organise and rationalise the miniatures I need, and by doing so, it generally means I can often make my armies for somewhere between 15 to 30 miniatures, but still include enough unit variety that it's exciting. Why is this important? Well, again, because of time and money. I get to hobby probably once or twice a week if I'm lucky, rarely spending more than a couple of hours putting miniatures together or getting some paint on them. More often than not, it's far more sporadic. A bit of assembly here, or a block colour, or a wash there. Sometimes even just on an individual model basis, on passing. It's all fine, but it does mean that if I actually want to get an army onto a tabletop anytime soon, I kind of need to be realistic about my goals. And aside from the hobbying headspace and time commitment thing, the less models you have to paint, the cheaper it tends to be financially. Better still, unless you have a burning desire to buy new from a Warhammer store, and there are definitely good reasons to do so, if you wheel and deal, shop around, use friendly local gaming stores, online resellers, or indeed the eBay secondhand marketplace, you can save a pretty penny on your plastic crack. And if you don't mind the odd third party proxy model or conversion piece, then there's definitely bargains to be had. So if we can put together 750 points of between 15 to 30 minis for less than £100, I think we're on to a winner. 
And if you can make those armies a bit more unique and full of law-abiding fluff and fun while we're at it, then that's even better still. So now, the elephants in the room. Firstly, some factions obviously suit this 750 thing better than others. For instance, it's very easy to do a 750 point Space Marine army of around 20 minis for less than 100 pounds. It just is. Like it or not, they are Games Workshop's poster boys. The minis are readily available on the second hand marketplace and as they are a relatively elite faction, you can create a balanced deployment of 750 points with fewer minis. It's obviously harder to do this with less well supported factions, or indeed ones that suit that horde mentality, like the Astra Militarum, say. But it doesn't mean we can't try, and I'm definitely going to look at what it would actually take to do a 750 army of some of those factions in the future, even if I don't actually make one myself. But even if a lot of my army ideas are going to be based around Primaris Space Marines or converting them to use them as some kind of proxy, the 40k universe is still our oyster. There's plenty of variety to be found in amongst the Space Marine chapters. We don't just have to paint them blue. We can dive in and make our 750 points of Space Marines interesting. Anyway, elephant number two. There are, of course, a ton of other games you could play instead. Some that are either very similar but simpler and that you can even use your 40k miniatures in. Or, indeed, actual Games Workshop 40k universe skirmish focus games like Kill Team or Necromunda. And even now, at the end of 9th edition with Arcs of Omen, we have boarding actions with those lovely scaled back 500 point boarding patrol games. Great stuff. All great. All valid. No problem. If you want some of that, and sometimes I do, then brilliant. But if you actually want to play some fun and fluffy 40k proper, but, you know, quickly and easily around the kitchen table with your mates with open battlefields and scattered terrain, then maybe, just maybe, this 750 way is a good way to do it. It's how I like to do it anyway. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching. So I've done a few videos now here on YouTube, but as ever, life is busy, and this is just another bit of a fun outlet for me. As such, I don't have a regular content schedule, I just upload these whenever I have time to make and finish them. So if you want to follow along, then hitting subscribe is a great way to make sure you don't miss a beat, and it also lets me know that someone somewhere out there is enjoying this stuff. If you want more regular updates about the projects I'm working on, then come follow me on Instagram where I post as often as I've done something. But hopefully, I'll see you next time.